What's going on on Facebook, Instagram, all social media sites? I want to give you guys a lot of blessings and love. Today is a beautiful day, as you can tell. Also known as God's Day, Sabbath, Sunday. Uh, I came on here to let you guys know that daily encouragement comes from within. So the people that you hang around with and the people that you associate with truly reflects who you are as a person and your intellect and what you represent. So you always want to be diligent for your studies and for who you are and what you want to grow to be as an outstanding member of society. I want to say that life can be very difficult at times, and I touched on that, but you got to keep going. You got to keep being ambitious. You got to keep being motivated. You got to keep going for the positive in life and not look for the negative in life. And that goes around the girlfriend that you have or the boyfriend that you have. You got to want more for yourself. And everything that's going on in this world at the moment is a spiritual war. It's a test from God so you can repent and be closer to him. And I know myself, I have to repent. Repent daily, which is what's needed so you can get to the kingdom of Father God and being saved so you can represent Father God to the fullest and really live for Father God. So I want you all to realize that what you do on this earth will always be accounted for in due time when you finally pass. So get right with Jesus and make sure that you get right with yourself and you can look yourself in the mirror and look yourself in the eye. Because if you can't look yourself in the mirror, which is, you know, your eyes is the windows, the soul to the windows. No, your eyes is the windows to your soul, excuse me. Then you can't really look somebody else in the eye and you can't really have a, a good, genuine conversation with them. And that also goes with a lot of, I, I talked to my, my best friend, uh, Jesse, and I was just telling him about a situation I was recently going through about, you know, how relationships are backwards and some girls just want to just, you know, have sex and not really want a relationship. And I'm just like, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm really not that type of guy. You know, it's just not my style. This has never been my style. You know what I'm saying? I'm always like the type of guy that likes, um, you know, respect from both sides, you know, whether it be in a long term relationship and we work something out, we just remain friends or just associates. But a lot of things that's done in this society is backwards. It's not a love, there's not enough love in this world. It's a lot of hate. It's a lot of jealousy. It's a lot of just, just ignorance, BS. A lot of people got to realize that what you put back onto this earth will come back to you tenfold. And that's called karma. You got good karma, you got bad karma. And a lot of positivity is overlooked because negativity is basically the new high for everybody everyone loves drama everyone not everyone but specifically from what we've seen in this world from reality tv shows music etc etc it's like when is it gonna stop that, but i know that like the best thing in life is for you to continue you uh the path that you have or desire for the most so when you actually have a path that you feel that is the right path for you to continue on you got to keep going for that path because I know my chosen path was when I was 18. That was when I wanted to become a motivational speaker. Actually, Pellissippi State Community College 2011 was my year. You know what I'm saying? That's the year I discovered truly who I was as a person and what I want in life. And that was motivational speaking. Motivational speaking is my passion. It's my heart. That's my love. I love that more than rap music. I love motivational speaking more than sex. I, love, I, I just love motivational speaking. It's something about meeting new people and putting positivity into their life and knowing that they're gonna do well and you know that they're gonna succeed. There's something I can't I can't explain the, the high I get from hearing people do good. I love hearing people saying they're doing good in life or they did this in life and it's positive and they're helping other people out. I love, bro, so God is my witness, I love that. When you say you're doing good and I know you're doing good and you ain't fronting whatsoever, whatsoever hey, you got my blessings until the end of time, straight up. But the thing with me, I'm not perfect and I don't plan to be perfect because I'm not, I'm in the flesh. But do the best thing you can do to survive and keep helping others out in this world. It's your boy David DeAndre, Full Effect, and I'm out.